now i am asking you question very very general question you may find it strange but uh, just try to give answer first very simple question have you observed moon on new moon day have you observed moon on new moon day uh, suppose i am telling you that okay i have observed that then can you guess what is that time whether it is morning early morning or that is called as dawn after evening that is dusk midnight or afternoon or whatever convenient time you may observe that so just tell me what is that timing that you can observe moon on new moon day the question was somewhat strange that uh, can you observe moon on new moon day but really yes my answer is yes we can observe but not all new moon day only when there is solar eclipse then we can observe moon say again, try to recollect the condition of solar eclipse when there is moon in between sun and earth that position is called as solar eclipse this is not happening every day or every new moon day that is happening rarely in a year and therefore and on particular area of earth so one can observe moon on new moon day only if there is solar eclipse and observable from that area when you are observing eclipse at that time moon is coming in between sun and earth and whatever you are observing dark part of sun that is not dark part of sun that is actually moon which is coming in between so one can observe moon on new moon day only when there is solar eclipse uh, see uh, when there is full moon day the sunset timing at that time only there is rise of moon when you are observing new moon day uh, okay in between that every day moon rises 50 minute late and so this way in 15 days you will get calculation just carry out calculation you will get that during day time moon is also there in the sky particularly on new moon day but we are not able to observe that because darker side of moon is facing towards earth and therefore we are not able to observe on every new moon day only thing is there when path of moon and sun is coinciding each other at that time and moon and sun must be present at same time at that same place then only we can observe that so this way we can observe that but for details we have to go to white board and we have to stretch out your imagination power to understand this concept in the detail can you observe moon on new moon day and uh, you have answers in front of you anyway uh, the simple answer is that yes one can observe moon on new moon day only when there is solar eclipse obviously that means in day time only whenever solar eclipse is there one can observe moon uh, from earth on new moon day uh, let us check out the answer is given but how and for that purpose we have to enter in detail theory uh, let us check out one by one uh, for that purpose uh, one must aware what are the phases of moon now when i am going to discuss this thing you must have to explore the knowledge of your three dimensional concept uh, that uh, concepts must be clear i will try but ultimately i am trying on two dimensional board with three dimensional concept keep in mind we are not going with any animation or like that and for that purpose you have to increase your imagination power now let us check out first i am showing here in red color this is sun keep in mind diagrams are not proportional if this is sun then i should show earth like this but here uh, even you may not observe here but here i am showing earth in blue color so this is earth now i have to consider a plane 
say I am drawing here. Imagine this is line actually, but this is actually plane facing towards you. In this plane, earth is revolving around sun. So, consider this is the plane and this way earth is revolving around sun. Now, moon will not revolve in the same plane. I have to show moon. So, I should not say moon is here. Actually, moon is either here or extremity it is here. Just imagine this is the plane. So, I am making this. So, this is the plane in which moon revolves around earth. So, it is not in the same plane that earth revolves around sun, moon is having some different plane. But uh, it is making some angle, which is that angle you have to find out. I am not purposefully writing over here. So, check out what is that angle of plane. Now, when two planes intersect each other, obviously there is intersection point is one line. So, here also there is intersection point. Now, when earth is here, may be possible that intersection point will be uh, on the plane of earth revolves around sun. And at that time, suppose moon is there on that point, then we can experience eclipse either lunar or solar. So, first concepts how they revolve. Now, check out another part. This is the dark side of moon. Say sun is here. So, this part is lighted one. This is dark one. Same way here also just check out. This is the dark side of moon. Same way this is the dark side of earth. Can I draw here half side dark? No. This is sun which is giving light from all over possible direction. Now here, uh, if you observe here daytime. So from daytime, if you observe the moon's dark side is there facing towards earth. So we can't observe moon during daytime. Same way here night time is there. If you observe moon here, you will get complete enlightened portion of moon. So, we are calling that as full moon day. So, this way two positions, this position is called as full moon day, this position is called as new moon day. Now, imagine earth is, uh, sorry, this is moon is revolving around earth in this way. So, while that it will be here, at that time only half of moon is observable from earth. Why? Because the half part is lighted whereas this part is in dark. So, this is exactly half phase. Uh, usually 7th or 8th day from new moon day or full moon day is arriving over here. So, these are different phases of moon. Now, out of that when lunar eclipse occurs, say uh, from sun I have to show light. Now, just imagine these are the radiations coming here forget of moon this way. Now, this portion here if you observe from here one cannot observe sun in any direction. So, this portion we are calling as a dark part of shadow or umbra. Whereas, from here certain radiations are there, but certain radiations are not there. So, this portion of shadow is usually a light portion of shadow which is called as penumbra. So, here you are getting umbra and penumbra. This is dark shadow, this is somewhat light shadow. If moon is coming in this shadow part, then we are calling as lunar eclipse. So, obviously for that purpose moon and sun must be in exact opposite direction of each other and moon must be there in the plane of this umbra. Then only one can observe eclipse. So, keep in mind lunar eclipse can occur only on full moon day. Otherwise, say this is the position moon is here. So, earth shadow is there. It is not falling on moon and so lunar eclipse is not possible for any other day. 
only on full moon day now check out the same situation over here suppose moon is here instead of here again same thing this is darker side you are supposed to get now my diagrams are not perfect but check out whereas this is again same way now check out this part this is the umbra part uh, penumbra where partial sun is observable but in this part so i am darkening uh, darkening this part in blue color here this is umbra of moon now if this umbra falling on earth surface then from that one can't observe sun so we are calling this position as total solar eclipse whereas if we are there in penumbra then we can observe part of sun and part of sun is not observed we are calling that as a uh, partial solar eclipse now distance between moon and earth is not constant sometime moon is closer to earth this is called as perigee position peri means in vicinity surrounding so perigee that moon is there close to earth and sometime it is away from earth we are calling this position as apogee position g stands for geology like that we can keep in mind earth so perigee when moon is close to earth apogee when moon is away from earth so if here in this case moon is close to earth then obviously this shadow will be there on earth surface and we are getting here total solar eclipse but not from all part of earth only where this cone is touching out from that part where if some reverse cases are there in this case we are not able to observe entire part and so we are calling this as partial solar eclipse now for that purpose sun and moon should be on the same direction that is actually full moon day and therefore we are that is actually new moon day and therefore we can observe new moon day uh, moon only at solar eclipse otherwise it will be somewhere here this is showing dark part then we are not able to observe this because both are towards same side and we are not getting eclipse portion and therefore on new moon day every new moon day we are not able to observe moon but only on solar eclipse we can able to observe a moon